Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. I've got a new idea for some content for Friday videos, which is nothing flashy, but rather simple and sweet. I'm going to start a series called Cool Geometry Dash Creators, starting with RNBW, who is a very interesting and original creator. I will go down their level catalogue just to see what's up. Creators like RNBW have a lot of concept levels, they're always very innovative. So I want to just go and check them out, get some stars, chill, and just have some fun with the game. The first one is called Weak Signal, which he said in the description he's trying some new effects and masking. I don't know, I always just find RNBW's levels very engaging, they're always very clean. I really like the vibe in this one. Notice that the wave trail is completely gone, I don't know how he's done that. Well yeah. The level name is very accurate, Weak Signal. I mean, you could mistake this for a snowstorm, but sweet, there you have Weak Signal by RNBW. Not exactly the most exciting first level, but we got some free stars. All right, let's pick up the pace a little bit. We're playing a hard five now called Chalcedony. I don't even know how you say this. The description says, trying some dual tones on for a change. This one's gonna be shiny. All right, this is more like his typical style. Just look past the first level we played, Weak Signal, although it was very interesting and original. These levels are more what you can expect from RNBW. They've always got very nice looking backgrounds. The block designs are always simple. I like the little bounces in the blocks too, that's pretty cool. You yeah, see, this is a more mellow experience. Oh, the background just keeps on getting deeper and deeper. Jeez, I can feel myself getting hypnotized. Hey, look at the background, it's twinkling. The description is fitting, hell yeah. See, isn't this just a pleasant experience? RNBW is such a cool creator. Oh, I think these kind of levels are my favorite to see in the game. Just simple, plain, laid back, enjoyable, good looking levels. Boom, Chalcedony is complete. This one's called Steep, it's a harder six. It's made for a contest and you've got to have no visible right angles. Ooh, sleek intro, that was cool. Yeah, this is awesome. No right angles. I can verify that right now just by judging by eye. The background's very nice looking. It goes very well with the steep blocks. The name fits in too. This is awesome. Nice music sync. Oh, damn. See, look at this. It's all bouncy. The background's kind of wiggling with the music. That's cool. This one has a lot of energy and I really like the song in it. Damn, that movement was awesome. And here again, we see simple block designs, simple backgrounds, but just good vibes. I love this. Still not a right angle in sight. Very interesting. This one isn't as strong in the background department, I feel, though. But I really like the concept in it. Steep was awesome. I don't know if that was a harder six. I would more rate that five. But next up, we've got Ribbon. Let's have a look. It's for a two weeks contest. See, all of these levels have, like, specific significance. I know that Frail has a challenge to do with his name. This level is for a Viperin contest. This one is in a box. Like... It's so cool. I love it when levels are made with like purpose, with like specific conditions. Ooh, damn. I love the shading on the ribbons. That's awesome. And the background's sleek too. See, RNBW is so strong with concepts and backgrounds. And his colors are always striking too. They definitely help him out. Oh, goodness. That music sings so cool. And here we see another classic RNBW merging background how the details just seem to collide all the time. His background's always so distorted, look at this. And these ribbons look so good. I love the way the colors are distributed on them. Damn, I really like RNBW's levels, if you can't tell. No! Is that the first time I've died on one? <laughs> one thing I gotta comment on is that RNBW never plagues his visuals with just random details. All of the details are there for a reason, you know? And also, all of his levels are very well optimized too. I mean, there's barely any of them with a lot of objects. All right, we're back here again. I don't know how I died. Oh, there was an invisible cube portal. Damn, I didn't notice that. Oh, hell yeah, this looks sick. Oh, <laughs> this looks like a Rocket League decal or something. That's a sweet level. That's probably my favorite so far. I love the ribbon concept and the end art too. That's so cool. Good vibes all round. That's another five stars gained for the whistle. This one, Lilliput, is a 100 object level. So I'm going to skip over that because it won't be nearly as engaging as the rest of them. So Frail stands for folding, rolling, arrows, isometric, and light. So there's going to be five parts in this level and they're all built around a theme based on the letter of the name. So F, we've got folding. See, look at that. The blocks like shape shift. Damn, that's so cool. And then you've got the rolling. 
Oh, that transition was awesome. And this one's arrows, I think. Yeah, this is so smooth. Look at how the arrows are rotating. I've never seen rotation so smooth. And here we have another morphing background from RNBW. This is just classic prime RNBW here. Isometric. And there was an awesome transition in between. Not just a black screen, it rotates on and off. That's awesome. I love the colours in this part. They're distributed so well. I love how it's all built around the isometric theme. I mean, these are all different themes put into one level. But they all feel linked together. And this song choice is awesome too. This one is light, I think. You've got like spotlights, which are hidden inside the blocks. That's awesome. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't get enough time to have a look and like delve into each theme. But that was awesome. Frail, one attempt, like. I like how the light part had blending overlaps too to make the light difference. This is a short level. I'm going to skip over this too. Next up, we've got Narrow. So this is the one that I mentioned that's all in like a really tight corridor. And he's used the dual game mode to keep the camera stable, which is honestly genius. See, once I go into the ship, it doesn't move. Although the ship is now heavier because the dual physics are different to the regular ship. Oh, it's so hard to stray fly, dude. What's next? Spider. Oh my goodness, this is so tight. Oh, oh my goodness, I have to focus so much with this. The curved lines are really throwing me off. I thought I had to, like, dip to the side. He just always comes through with the clean visuals, and that's what matters to his style, really. And this just proves that he's a very diverse creator. Okay, remember to slide on this one. Boom. Oh, God. <laughs> I do not stand a chance. How is this seven star? What? Okay, maybe I'm overreacting. It's not that bad. It's just once you get in, it's really hard to adapt to the small space. Oh, man, this level's such a butt clencher. Jeez. This looks so cool. I love how this one looks visually. Damn. Oh, this is so intense with that instrument. Oh, no, I didn't expect there to be a little climb there. No, oh my God. I love how RNBW is able to put different visuals inside and outside of the black space. That just makes it look super nice. All right, let's be having you. You're not gonna surprise me this time. Hell yeah. Oh, you. Heck yeah. Oh, I thought that was a purple pad for some reason. Okay, 92. Whatever. Heck yeah, we did it. Narrow by RNBW. And that end art is so cool. It fits the level so well. I love the end art so much. Damn. Like. Triptych. Apparently I got 41% on this before, but I can't remember exactly which level it is. Made for another contest. Uh, limitation on colours this time. So this is going to be interesting. This is sweet so far. I love the contrast of the pink and the orange. It looks so peachy. Oh, damn. We've got moving pillars. I remember what this is now. Oh, damn. This color scheme is punchy now. This is so cool looking. So saturated. It's like a blood orange. Hell yeah. And obviously, we've got the distorted backgrounds again. Last part, I think. Cube. Oh, oh this is intense. The black and white. Oh my goodness, Triptych, hell yeah. Another banger from RNBW, let's go. Boom. From all of the ones I've played, I don't think there's been a miss so far, except maybe Weak Signal could probably have been executed better. I've already beaten Covert, but I want to see what it is. The description says rotation-centric backgrounds, and I can see a special-looking pinwheel in the background already. This is going to be cool-looking. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I love this one. This is so fun. Oh, man. Ooh, this circle looks so cool. It reminds me of a radial blur. And I love how it rotates faster in the middle than it does around the outside. That's so awesome looking. There's some leeway with your inputs, but I'm a little bit behind. Okay, I'm on it again. Nice. That was so intense. <gasps> I took my hands off the freaking mouse, dude. I hit that last red orb with my space bar. That was so scary. Like... Acumen. Now, I don't think I've seen this one. A layout line, a curved block, a spike, two orbs, two pads, and three triggers. What? RNBW's song choice remains strong. What is this gameplay? Damn, that looks cool. I want to try that out again. Damn, this is like a dragon scale block design. Okay, that's how you get past that part. Nice. The black and white contrast is neat. The background color is beautiful. What's next? Oh, damn. It's building up the tension. Oh my goodness, the tension. Ooh, well maybe this drops a little bit anticlimactic, but you know what, we'll forgive him. He's popped off with pretty much every single other level, and this beginning background, this is so sweet. 
Oh, this is so fast. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I just jumped straight into the wall. But yeah, after seeing what was actually going on, I checked the description to see if I could make sense of it. But I don't really understand. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but I'm not seeing the concept of this unless it's like an inside thing. Music sync is strong as always. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm lost for words. Let's go. We did it. Acumen. The end screens stay strong as always. That's another like. I missed the button. I'm going to call this one the last one for today. Pallid. Uh, only robot and ball game modes. Okay, this is going to be very interesting to see. I love how metallic this looks. Although I'm pretty sure it is using the in-game objects to do this. Definitely not for the spikes. Those spikes are not in the game already. Damn, the colors in this one are so good looking. Oh, yeah, I love the vibes in this one already. 62% already? What? This one is very blunt and just straightforward. It's clear to see. It's good looking. Damn, that was pretty interesting for the last one. Very mellow. That's another four stars and I'm now on 7954. I should hit 8,000 in the next episode of this, but I'm done with this for now. Thank you for watching this cool John Dash Creators episode. I don't know if this is going to be a thing. It probably will, because I do need to get some stars. I've enjoyed it. I loved looking through RNBW's levels first, because they all have their own concept. They've all got limitations and restrictions, but they end up being very good looking and cool as a result. Hold on, do I have any quests? Hell yeah. <laughs> I haven't picked them up for a while, but check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day!